What's up and welcome back, it's your Decadent here again. In today's video, I'll be showing you the possible solutions on how you can fix the error on your Google Chrome that says your connection is not private. But again, before we get started, just a short message from our sponsor. CDKoffers.com is an all-in-one website where you could buy licensed keys. Just simply look for whichever software games you're looking for. Click on the Buy Now button. I know their licensed keys are already cheap, but want to make it cheaper? Simply enter DUDE20, which is an exclusive discount code that will give you a 20% discount from your purchases. Then enter your payment details and you should immediately receive the key once the payment has been confirmed. After receiving the key, you can then activate your software or games instantly. Alright, enough with the talk, let's now go ahead and jump right to our desktop. Alright, now that we are on our desktop, let's now go ahead and open up first our web browser, which is the Google Chrome web browser. So the first common solution for this particular issue is that our system clock might not be updated. So go ahead and go to the bottom of your taskbar. You will be able to see here a particular date and time. Go ahead and right click on this particular area and you will be able to see here various options. Go to adjust date and time. If you are connected via the internet, go ahead and set this one to set time automatically. And then scroll down until you see this time zone at the bottom and go ahead and locate the appropriate time zone for your area. Let's say I'm in the Philippines. So the time zone that I'm currently living in is plus 8 UTC. Once done, go ahead and click on the sync now. And again, make sure that you are connected via the internet. So as you can see, it was able to successfully synchronize your clock on the time that windows.com time server. Go ahead and close this one and restart your web browser. So hopefully that manages or fixes your particular issue. If that didn't solve for you, we can go ahead and try clearing the browsing data of your web browser that might also be the cause for this particular concern. Go ahead and go to the top right portion of your web browser and then click on this history and click on history. And you'll be able to see this window right here. Go ahead and click on the clear browsing data on the top left portion of your screen. It will show you this prompt and make sure to set the time range to all time. Check the browsing history, cookies and other site data as well as the cached images and files. Click the clear data and that will clear up all the data of your web browser. Afterwards, go ahead and restart your web browser and see if that fixes the problem of uh, your connection is not private on your Google Chrome. If that still didn't work for you, we can now go ahead and jump to the third solution which is to change our DNS server. Go ahead and close our web browser right now once again and right click on this network icon on your taskbar. Go ahead and click on open network and internet settings and then you'll be able to see here various options. Go ahead and click the change adapter options right here and it will show you this particular window. Usually you'll only be having one or two ethernet adapters right here so better check which network adapter are you using. In my case I'm using this TP-Link wireless USB adapter connected via Wi-Fi so I'm just going to right click on this one and go to properties. Go ahead and look for the internet protocol version 4 or TCP IPv4. Click on it and click on the properties. By default, it might be set to obtain DNS server address automatically. Go ahead and check this. Use the following DNS server addresses. And then type in here 8.8.8.8. .8 and for the alternate DNS server, type in 8.8.4.4, which is the DNS server of Google. Go ahead and click on the OK button and close this window and close this window as well as this window. Next, go to your taskbar and look for command prompt and right click your command prompt up and make sure to run it as administrator. Type in here ipconfig space forward slash flush dns and it will show you that the Windows IP configuration has been successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Go ahead and close this window and go ahead and try restarting your web browser and check whether the your connection is private or is already gone and fixed. If that still didn't work for you, we can go ahead and try another fix. Go ahead and close once again our web browser first and then go to the start menu and look for internet options. Go ahead and open up the internet options on your control panel and then go to the content tab and you'll be able to see here the S certificates option. Go ahead and clear the SSL state by clicking on this button right here and it will show you that the SSL cache was successfully cleared. And hit the OK button and go ahead and try opening back again your web browser. 
Hopefully by this time you are now able to fix this particular issue. However, if you are still encountering this particular issue, we could still apply two more steps. One of which is to first disable all plugins or add-ons that we have on our browser as they might be causing this particular issue. Go ahead and go to the top right portion again of your screen and click on this button right here and go to more tools and go to extensions. You'll be able to see here various extensions on your web browser that is currently enabled. So go ahead and make sure to disable them first to check whether they might be causing this issue on your Google Chrome web browser. Already fixes your issue on your web browser and hopefully that fixes your problem. If after doing all those stuff and you are still stuck with this issue, the last solution that we can do for this issue is to go to the address bar of our web browser and type this on your web browser. And then hit enter on your keyboard and you'll be taken to this settings. Go ahead and type on the search button right here, certificates. And you'll be able to see here various experimental options. One of which is this allow invalid certificates for resources loaded from local host. By default, this is set as disabled. But if in any case, this might be the issue that you might be encountering, enabling this one will basically fix your concern. And once again, as you can see, it will ask you to relaunch your web browser to apply those changes and go ahead and try whether that fixes your concern and hopefully it does already so that's about it hopefully any of those solutions that i've shown you was able to help you fix this particular issue again it's your tech edit here see you in my next tech videos